Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel, my research support. So friends, today in this video, we'll be discussing about an excellent AI tool that is F4 AI. So that tool, in my opinion, is better than even ChatGPT and any other AI tools. And the main reason is this AI tool has an access of around more than 200 millions of research articles in different fields. And whatever information you'll be getting on this platform with the help of this AI tool, will be fetched from this research articles only so this ai tool has multiple features of reading different research articles fetching the information from this research articles summarizing all these research articles all together so a lot more things you can do with the help of this ai tool so apart from writing these theoretical sections like introduction abstract conclusion methodology you may take help to write your result and discussion section of your research article as well so how let me explain so without any further ado let's start so first you have to search for this for ai and then you have to click on this link so that you will be redirected to this F4 AI main homepage. And now you have to click on this login if you already have an account. Otherwise, you may click on this try for free. So as I have already prepared an account, I'll be clicking on this login. So I personally prefer to log in with my Google account. So I'll just click on continue with Google. So this is the main interface of this F4 AI. So you'll be able to see few of the research articles those I have already uploaded to this interface but obviously whenever you will be logged in for the first time you won't be able to see any of these research articles so you have to first click on upload file and now you will be able to see that you can upload different types of files like PDF, docx, text, pptx etc. So usually what I do is if I am working on any kind of research article then I simply download 30 to 50 quality research articles and I just put all these research articles into single folder and then if you are using this F4 AI then you can upload all these downloaded research articles here into this interface. So you have to first select for example if I want to upload the PDF file so you have to click on the PDF and then for example if I want to upload these five research articles to this F4 AI interface then I can select this and I need to just click on this open. So you will be able to see this research articles and now you have to click on this upload. So you can see this, these research articles have started uploading to this F4 AI interface. So you can see this, all these research articles have finished uploading to this interface. And now you will be able to see the few of the options on the left hand side. So this is the main homepage where you have uploaded your research articles. Now you have to click on the second option which is research assistant. So you can click on that and you will find a kind of similar interface to the chat GPT but as I said before it is quite different that you will be able to fetching the information from the quality research articles only unlike chat GPT. And now suppose if I am writing an introduction section for my research article but while writing introduction section I want to refer only few of the research articles specific research articles then also you can do that and with the help of this research articles only you will be able to write an introduction section for your research article so now the next step is first you have to click on this connect files and you have to select this specific set of research articles that i want to consider for writing my introduction for research paper for example i'll be considering these five research articles and then you have to select that and simply you have to close this window okay and now here in the prompt box you can just type at the rate so that you will be able to see this uploaded research articles so don't forget to connect files and then only you will be able to see all these files here for example if i am considering this research article then this second research article then this third research article and if I'll be putting this prompt like write an introduction section from a research paper entitled microstructure of highly deformed agent 31 magnesium alloy. So you have to be very specific then only you'll be able to generate very specific information and then you have to just click on send. And now you can see that this introduction section is drafted for my research article. Obviously it is recommended to go through this information and now you know that which research articles you have referred in order to write generate this introduction section so accordingly you may put the citation you can also put a prompt like generate an introduction section on this topic with index citation then only then also you will be able to get the index citations but it is always recommended to verify all these citations and the information as well 
so in this way you may generate different sections for your research paper or review paper so one more feature of this f ai that i would like to highlight so here you'll be able to see this ai model so you may select multiple ai model so that you'll be able to get the quality information so i personally prefer this gpt4 and then here again you will have an option to select either document retrieval or semantic scholar see this i have right now i have selected document retrieval that does mean i want to fetch the information from the articles that i have uploaded to this interface okay so if you want to get the information from as i said in the starting of this video that this f4 ai has an access to even more than 200 million plus peer review research articles so in that case if you have not uploaded any of your research articles then you can select this semantic scholar okay so i'll just switching to this model and now i'll be using the same prompt so this is the prompt so i have only added with index citations and you have to just click on send so you will be able to see this this f4 ai will generate an introduction section for you with proper index citations so here you will be able to see that this introduction section is drafted with proper index citations so these are original citations and like chat gpt so you can click on this citation if you want to access this research article and then you have to just click on visit site so this is the research article which has cited in that information so that information is fetched from this research article so in chat gpt as well you will be able to get some citations but whenever you will be finding those citations obviously those citations will not be real so in that sense yes f4 ai is much better now you can change this model as well so we have selected semantic scholar you can click on that and you may select this google search so the same model you can find for chat gpt so if you want to use this f4 ai similar to the chat gpt then also you can do that you have to simply select this google search so that you will be able to fetch the information from all the websites from everything but i personally prefer to use this document retrieval so that whatever information that i'll be fetching will be from my selected research articles now if you want to take the help of this f4 ai in order to write your result and discussion section for your research paper then also you can do that so let me discuss one example so this is the figure obviously everything cannot be generated means if you think that you can generate entire research article by using different ai tools then you might be wrong because you can't do that so obviously you have to carry some experiments you have to generate few results you have to analyze the data and then only you can take the help you can take the support of this ai tools in order to make your document excellent in order to write different section means you can take assistance of all these ai tools so for example i have carried out few experiments and i have analyzed my data and i have generated this graph and now i want to take help of this f4 ai in order to write the result and discussion section for this graph then yes you can do that so simply you have to just save this as a pdf form so you can say this as save this image in the pdf form so this is the graph and now in the similar way you have to just move to this reference manager and then you have to click on this upload file and through this upload file you have to just import that pdf so i have already imported that pdf so this is figure 1 and now i'll be just clicking on research assistant and in order to explain means in order to write result and discussion section for that figure yes i have to first connect that file so i need to just click on the connect files and then i need to just select figure 1 and then simply close it and then you can simply type at the rate and then you can select this figure and you may write a prompt as generate results section by using this figure so you may also 
type a prompt as generate the result section for the research article entitled you may put the title of your research article that would be more specific but simply for demonstration purpose I'll be putting this prompt generate result section by using this figure and I would just like to click on send so you will be able to see this this the result section for this attached figure is generated here you may go through this results very carefully I never recommend you to just copy and paste but yes this is the great tool that will give you an idea and it is always recommended that you can take the reference of this text and you may rewrite this text in your own words I mean in what flow I need to just explain that graph and I'll be getting few different technical words also here so in this way you can take reference of this generated text and you will be able to create a unique results and discussion section for specific graphs for your research article so in this way you can take help of this FOAI for writing your research article and the most important point is about the pricing so yes this is not a free tool but yes with free account you'll be able to get some features limited features so these are the plans so I'll recommend you to first move ahead with the free plan and then if you think that if you find this tool is useful in your research and then only I'll just recommend you to move ahead with this professional plan so that is more than enough so if you can't afford this plan you may move ahead with the student plan and you can get additional 10% discount for that you have to refer to this video description you have to click on the link that I have provided in the video description and after that you have to apply this discount coupon and then only you will be able to avail the 10% discount so friends thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you so if you still have any queries you can write us through comments we'll definitely try to answer all these comments so once again thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye